why are the order of operations important? Well, the order of operations are so important. Uh, pretty much for a basic rule is, it's our rules, right? You gotta follow them. Well, it's not that basic, and it's not as simple also as just saying, oh, some you know, guys were in a cave long way back a time ago, and they just made up these random rules that we gotta follow. The way that I like to look at it is a language. If you look at any language all over the world, they all have certain rules that you have to follow. Not just you know, what words to say, but also you know, how you set up your sentences and how you set up your phrases where you speak. Um, are you talking about in the past or the present tense? There's all these sets of rules that we have to follow. And why do we have to follow these rules? For it to make sense, right? For us all to be on the same page so we can communicate with each other. Mathematics is no different. We need to be able to communicate with each other and we need to make sure we're on the same page. Um, I like to put it this way. If you've ever heard somebody from, you know, trying to speak your language and they're, they're very amateur about it, they, they're very new at trying to speak it, you can hear them making very, you know, those very subtle, small mistakes where like, um, you know, they may not say it exactly correctly or they may switch around the words and you say, oh, I got you, no, 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 this is what you mean to say or this is what you want to say. You're very, you're used to it because maybe it's your native language. So. Uh, you can catch up on very simply, very easily. Well, the same thing is with order of operations. This is like our basic stuff. Um, and a lot of mathematicians, you know, a lot of us take this stuff for granted, but it's very important that we make sure we follow these rules so that we're on the same page. And not just so for your teacher or whoever uh, you're showing your, your math that, oh, hey, I know how to do this stuff. But we got, it's for the language. So we're all speaking the exact same language. We have to make sure we remember this. And order of operations is one of the most fundamental rules that we have. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through three examples and kind of show you three different ways what could happen if we are speaking, trying to speak the same language but doing it different ways. So let's look at student number one. Student number one wants to say, well, you know what? I'm just gonna work all the way from left to right and that's what I'm gonna do. So they do two plus three, which is five. Then they do five times five, which is 25. Then 25 minus 4, which is 21. So they get the answer of 21. Uh, let's see, then the next student, what the next student likes to do is they hate doing multiplication. They want to do addition and subtraction because that's what they first learned, so that's what they're going to do. So they do 2 plus 3, which is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. And they end up getting 5. So you're saying, okay, you know, not too bad. Um, so now let's go ahead and look at uh, the next student. Now the next student is going to do, uh, they're going to add here first. So they'll do, uh, um, I'm s no, first student, let's actually go through this because I, I remembered I was going to take this a different direction. Let's actually follow now the rules about uh, the order of operations so we can actually see what the correct answer is. The correct answer to make sure is we follow multiplication first. So 3 plus 5 is going to provide us with 15. 2 plus negative 4. Now the next rule of order operation says to do addition and subtraction, but just make sure you do it from left to right. So 2 plus 15 is 17 minus 4. 17 minus 4 is going to allow us 13. So that is going to be our actual answer um, for there. And you can see if we didn't use these rules and we just said, hey, simplify these numeric expressions any way you want to, well, students could come up with any sort of you know, way that they would want to do the problem. They can solve this any way they uh, you know, possibly wanted to. So it's really important. And you know, the one way I was going to show this is if you did 5 times 4, it would be 1. Then multiply that, so you'd have 2 plus 3, which equals 5. So just a different way to solve for 5, but the still the correct answer ends up being uh, 13 over here. But you can see there's three different ways, actually four, four different ways, um, really to solve the exact same problem, but only being one being the correct answer that we're going to look for mathematically. All right, that's why the order of operations is so important.